Hello, yes, sir. Welcome back to the course on matrix computation and its application. So, in the previous lecture, we have started with the Jordan canonical form. So, today we are going to discuss few example based on how we can make the Jordan canonical form. So, let us uh, do this one. So, in the previous example, uh, previous lecture, we have discussed that suppose I have a matrix A that is of n cross n. So, it is a square matrix and in that case, I can write the matrix A into in this form. So, maybe this form I can write in the same way as we used to see in the diagonalization, because we have seen that in the that if matrix A that is n cross n is diagonalizable, then we can write A p is equal to p d or maybe I can write p d p inverse where d contains the diagonal uh, the eigen values at the diagonal elements as a diagonal elements. So, this is we can do when the matrix is diagonalizable and we have also seen that if A is symmetric. So, uh, maybe I can write A as some s, s is symmetric then we have seen that we can write this as p and then so maybe i can write p d p transpose so in this case i can say that this matrix s is orthogonally diagonalizable because the matrix p is an orthogonal matrix now after that we know that if the if I have a matrix A which is not diagonalizable, then we can write its Jordan form and this is my Jordan form. So, where my J is Jordan matrix and then we have also discussed about the generalized eigenvector in the previous lecture. So, now today we are going to discuss uh, one example based on this one. So, let us take one example. Suppose I take a matrix A and this matrix I just take 2 1 1 2 2 1 0 0 0. So, this is a matrix 3 cross this matrix and this matrix if you see this is upper triangular matrix. Now, from here I can found that the Eigen values are 2, 2, 2. So, it is the repeated Eigen value. So, I can write here that arithmetic multiplicity of Eigen value lambda is equal to 2 is 3. Now, based on this, if this is a Eigen repeated Eigen value, then this matrix may or may not be diagonalizable. So, so let us see that what is the dimension of the Eigen space of the Eigen value 2. Now, to find the Eigen vector, what we do is that let us find the Eigen vector. Corresponding to Eigen value lambda is equal to 2. Now, I know that this can be written as A x is equal to 2 x and from here I can have this x equal to 0, where my x is not equal to 0 that is a Eigen vector and from here I can write this as. So, a minus 2 i I can write that will be 0 0 0 1 1 1. So, this is my matrix and I have to take x. So, this x is I just take x y z and putting equal to 0 0 0. Now, if I solve this one, 
from here, then if you see it will be x. So, from the first equation I will get y plus z is equal to 0 and in the second equation I will get z equal to 0 and from both I will get y is equal to 0 and z equal to 0. So, now from here I get only one uh, vector this is freely free vectors and if you see from here then this matrix I can say that in this case the rank of a minus 2 i is 2 and from here also I can say that now nullity of a minus 2 i is 1 because I will be able to get only one dimensional uh, null space which is the solution of this one and from here now I get my y equal to 0 and z equal to 0. So, I can take my x as suppose I take 1 0 0. So, this is my I just call it x 1. So, I just call it x 1. So, this is my uh, eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value uh, lambda is equal to 2. Now, from here you see that the nullity of this a minus 2 i is 1. So, from here I can say that now because we know that the eigen space or lambda is equal to eigen value is one dimensional. So, it is a one dimensional basically it is same as uh, equal to the. Uh, so, I, I know that the Eigen space of Eigen space corresponding to Eigen value lambda is equal to 2 is equal to the null space of a minus 2 i. So, that is equal to the null space of this and null space of this will give you only this type of vector and scale multiple and its dimension is 1. So, I can say that the Eigen space of lambda equal to 2 is 1 dimensional. So, from here I, I came to know that the geometric multiplicity the short form is geometrical multiplicity of lambda is equal to 2 in this case is just 1. So, from here we found that we can say that this matrix A is not diagonalizable because this matrix is diagonalizable only when if the geometric multiplicity would have been 3 then we can say that okay, this algebraic multiplicity is equal to geometric multiplicity. So, the, the matrix will be diagonalizable. So, in this case the matrix will be not be diagonalizable and from here we will get the Jordan form. So, my Jordan form in this case will be 2, 2, 2 and putting 1 here, 1 here 0, 0, 0, 0. So, that will be the corresponding Jordan matrix in this case and we will get only one Jordan block and this I know that it is corresponding to uh, one Eigen vector and I am getting only one Eigen vector from here. Now, the thing is that so, from here we know that I can write my matrix A as I can write this matrix A as x is equal to x and j and from here I can write A is equal to x j x inverse. So, I need to find this mat the matrix x. So, x is a matrix that is 3 cross 3 matrix. So, this matrix I uh, need to find out. So, that matrix should be corresponding to the Eigen vector and the general Eigen vector 
of the corresponding eigenvalues. So, that we need to find that how we can find out this matrix X. Now, from here, now we get that our matrix. So, let my matrix X is X1, first X2 and X3. So, these are the three uh, vectors and x1 is the the eigen vector i am taking this x1 same as x1 now from here i can write that the matrix a x1 x2 x3 can be written as x1 x2 x3 and this is my jordan form because i'll get only this jordan form in this case and from here I can find that my A x 1 is equal to 2 times x 1. I am just comparing the first uh, value multiplying this first and so this is a matrix A x 1 will be equal to 2 x 1 and also from the second one I will get A x 2 now from here and I will get is equal to x1 plus 2x2 I will get from here and now from here I can write that my a minus 2i x2 is equal to x1. So from here I can say that this x2 does not belongs to the null space of a minus 2i. Now, from here as we have done pre in the previous lecture, we can write this as square x2 and that becomes a minus 2 i x1 and that is already 0. So, from here I can say that my x2 belongs to the null space of a minus 2 i square. So, x2 belongs to the here, but x2 does not belong to this one. So, from here I can say that x2 is a generalized eigen vector and this belongs to this. So, if you see from here let I take a picture. So, let we make this as the null space of a minus 2 i. Now, x2 belongs to a minus 2 i square, but it does not belong to this one, but so from here if you see this the bigger one will be the null space of a minus 2 i square, because a, all the vector belongs to this will definitely comes under the null space of a minus 2 i square. From here I just multiply by one more time if I here getting from here then because I know that that a minus 2 i x 1 is 0 and from here I can also write a minus 2 i square x 1 is 0. So, x 1 is also belongs to the null space of this and from here that I can say that this null space is a subset of the null space of a minus 2 i square. So, from here if you see I can say that suppose this is my x1 then somewhere here it is my x2. So, x1 and x2 are lying in the different null spaces, but x1 and x2 both are lying in the null space of a minus 2 i square. So, that is there. Now, from here from the third one also if I multiply this one I can write my a x 3 and a x 3 if you see this is becoming x 2 plus 2 times x 3 and that is my a minus 2 i x 3 is equal to x 2 and from here I can write that a minus 2 i square x 3 is equal to a minus 2 i x 2 
and from here I can write my a minus 2 i cube x 3 because a minus 2 i x 2 is x 1. So, from here I can write a minus 2 i square x 2 and that is 0. So, that shows me that a minus 2 i cube x 3 0. So, you can see from here that x 3 belongs to that implies that x 3 belongs to the null space of a minus 2 i cube and x 3 does not belong to the null space of a minus 2 i square because a minus 2 i square is this value and that is basically x 1 that we already know. So, from here I can say that the x 3 is also a generalized Eigen vector. So, let us find out that how we can find this generalized Eigen vector. Now, I am able to find only x 1. So, from here I will take now I will try to find out what is my a minus 2 i square because from here I know that a minus 2 i square x 2 will be equal to 0. So, let us take it x 2 that is equal to 0 or maybe I just take some vector x. Let us take this one. Now, from here if you take the multiplication. So, a minus 2 i square will be 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 and multiply by itself and if you multiply both sides then it will be 0 0 0 then this is also 0 the last one will be 0 1 and 0 so it will be 1 0 0. So, that will gives me this value 0 0 1 0 0. Now, from here if I take a minus 2 i square x, so that gives me and my x is some x y z because it belongs to R 3 and that should be equal to 0 0 and that gives me that my z is 0. So, I have only z equal to 0. So, my free variable are x and y. So, based on this one I can find that the null space of a minus 2 i square is spanned by the vectors. So, I can take the vector because now I need to find out two vectors because the dimension of the null space is I can say that the dimension of null space of a minus 2 i square is 2 now because the rank is 1. So, two vector will span this uh, the whole null space of a minus 2 i square. So, what I can do is that I can choose one x 1 what we have obtained from the eigen as a eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value and x 2 I can take the linearly independent of this one. So, I can take first one I just take as span of 1 0 0. So, this vector I can take and another vector I will take whose z is 0 and will be in linearly independent of this one. So, I maybe take 1 1 0. So, this will be spanned by this. Now, I choose now we find out the. So, from here I will get two vectors because now I need three linearly independent Eigen vectors to construct the matrix x. So, now from here, so this x I am just taking a vector and this capital X is a matrix. So, 
this x and that x is not the same one. Now, suppose I take uh, the third one. So, also I will take a minus 2 i cube and I find this value. So, that will gives me so, a minus 3 if you see it will be just the 0 matrix and here it is x y z and that is 0 0 0. So, from here I can say that my x y z will be the whole uh, r cube. So, that belongs to the whole r cube now because the null space is a minus 2 i cube is whole r cube. So, I can choose the any vector. So, now from here I can say that the null space of a minus 2 i cube is equal to the span by the vectors. Now, I have to choose another. So, suppose this is my null space of a minus 2 i q and I can choose my x 3 somewhere here. So, this is suppose I choose x 3. So, I can take the same as 1 0 0 that belongs to the null space of a minus 2 i 1 1 0 and the third one I can take which belongs to only the null space of this one. So, I can take any vector which does not belong to this one. So, here first uh, the third component is 0. So, maybe I can take 0 0 1. So, maybe this one I can take because this 0 0 1 that does not belongs to the null space of a minus 2 i or a minus 2 i square. So, this is the, the basis of null space of this one. Now, so, I got this vectors based on the null space, but I have not satisfied this condition because we have to satisfy this condition also for the corresponding eigenvectors and the generalized eigenvector. So, this is the relation between the generalized eigenvector and the eigenvector and this also I have to satisfy this condition. So, this will give you the Jordan chain. So, let us see how it is going to be. Now, from here I will get my x 1. So, x 1 is ok. I will get 1 0 0. So, this one I have taken. Now, I need x 2. So, I have a minus 2 i x 2 should be x 1. So, from here you will get. So, a minus 2 i is 0 0 0 1 1 1 and this is 0. x 2 is suppose it is x y z which is need to find out and x 3 is sorry x 1 is 1 0 0. So, 1 0 0 suppose I take this one. Now, from here I get the condition that x plus y no y plus z should be 1 from here and z should be 0 and from these two I will get that y should be 1. So, in this case my y should be 1. So, I can choose my x 2 vector as the condition is that y should be 1. So, I have taken y equal to 1, my z should be 0 and the condition is that this x 2 should not belongs to the null space of a minus 2 y. Okay, so, and x 2 I got from here 1 1 0. So, I can take the same one. So, I can take here 1 no problem. So, you can see that 1 1 0 does not belongs to null space of a minus 2 i. You can see from here because a minus 2 i is here if I put 1 1 0 here 
So, this will be 1 1 0. So, that will be not 0, it will be 1 here. So, you can see from here. So, we have checked this one and now, so this is the, uh, I can say that finding this values. So, this may be I can write in the form of Yeah, so it can be written as step 1, finding the first eigenvector and then using this one, then I have this value. So, it is step 2, step 3 and then from here I will get this is step 4 finding the generalized eigenvector based on this one and step 5. So, step 5 means I need to satisfy that a minus 2 i square x 3 is equal to x 2 and from here if you see then I will get 0 0 1 and this is suppose my x y z and x 2 is 1 1 0. So, I have taken my x 2 is 1 1 0 here because the condition was only z should be 0 and y should be 1. So, I have taken x 2 as same way and from here if you see I will get my z should be equal to 1 and that is it. So, that is the condition and I want my x 3 should not belongs to the null space of a minus 2 i. If you see from here this one, yeah. So, from here a minus 2 i x 3 should be x 2. Okay. So, I have to, so this is just I have to choose only x and this is my 1 1 and x 2 I have taken this now. Now, from here if you see from these two I will get my y plus z should be 1 and my z should be 1 and this both gives you that y should be 0 and z should be 1. So, I can choose my uh, x 3 as, so my z should be 1 and y should be 0. So, I should take the x 3 such that x 3 should not belongs to, so x 3 is here, so this is my x 3. So, it should not belong to the null space of x 2 or null space of x 1 and if you see the null space of x 2 has the third component 0 and third component 0. So, I should take this value maybe I can take here 1 no problem. So, now from here I will make a chain that is called the Jordan chain. So, now what we are getting at the first level level 1 I will get my x 1. So, this is my Eigen value Eigen vector. Now, from here I will get my x 2 that is generalized Eigen vector. So, this is my level 2 I have taken the level 2. So, level 2 is coming from this condition by satisfying this condition. So, that is my level 2. Now, after doing this level 2, I got the next one is level 3 and this is my x 3. So, x 3 we have taken from this condition by comparing the last a x cube. So, a x cube becomes x 2 plus 
2 x 3 and from here I will get this value. So, and all I got all the 3 eigen vectors corresponding to the eigen value. So, how I can write? So, this is called Jordan chain. So, now I am ready to make the matrix x. So, x will be we have to write first we have to write the eigen value this one and then we have to go in this way. So, then I will write my x 2 and then I will write my x 3. So, based on this one I will get the matrix x as so my x 1 is 1 0 0. So, it is 1 0 0 then it is 1 1 0 and then it is 1. So, maybe I can take 1 0 1 and from here we can see that if I take a x then it should be equal to x j and I should be able to and this are uh, linearly independent. So, I can take my inverse. So, I can from here I can write that x inverse a x is equal to j and these things we can verify that we should be able to get only j. So, that things say uh, you can just verify from the uh, doing the calculation in computer. So, this way we are able to find the, the Jordan canonical form for the corresponding matrix A and this is the way we are able to find the x. Now, let us do one more example. So, in this case we were able to have only one eigen vector corresponding to the eigen value. So, let us take another example. So, I have calculated these spaces null spaces their dimensions just for the clearance even we can go directly from there. So, let us take one another example. I will just take let we take the matrix A which is of the form 2 4 minus 3 and 0 2 0 0 3 minus 1. So, this is my matrix A 3 cross 3 and if you find its characteristic equation. So, I can write its characteristic equation P x. So, it will be so characteristic equation means A minus lambda i determinant equal to 0. So, it will be uh, x minus 2 square into x plus 1 and from here I can get my eigen values 2, 2 minus 1 because their sum should be equal to the trace. So, it is equal to the trace. So, from here now I want to find out its Jordan form. So, find its Jordan form. Now, in this case we have a, so let us start with the lambda is equal to 1. Now, because it is lambda is equal to minus 1. So, for lambda is equal to minus 1 we have only one eigen value and so it is algebraic multiplicity is 1 and we will also get the uh, uh, geometric multiplicity that will be also 1 and this one we can find with. So, we have to do a plus i x equal to 0 where my x is not equal to 0 this is the eigen vector and from here if you see I can find so adding 1 here. So, it is a 3 4 minus 3 0 3 0 0 3 and adding 1 here it is 0 and this is suppose x y z. So, this is I will take 0 0 0. And from here if you see I will get 
x plus 4y minus 3z equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. So, from here 3x plus 4y minus 3z. Now, from here if you see that gives me that my x should be equal to z and y should be 0. So, now from here I can choose my x. So, y should be 0 and x and z should be. So, I can take this value uh, 1 0 1. So, now from here I can call it x 1 and this is my eigen vector. So, from here no problem the earth uh, algebraic multiplicity of lambda is equal to minus 1 is equal to geometric multiplicity of lambda is equal to minus 1. So, no problem in this case we get this value. Now, let us find out the eigen vector corresponding to corresponding to lambda is equal to 2. So, in this case we have a minus 2 i x equal to 0. So, let us take this one. So, from here if you see I will get I have to subtract 2 from there. So, it will be 0 4 minus 3 0 0 and 0 and 0 3 minus 3 x y z equal to 0. And from here if you calculate I will get 4 y minus 3 z equal to 0 and 3 y minus 3 z equal to 0. So, this is from here I will get 3 y minus 3 z equal to 0 and 4 y. So, here it gives you that 4 y is equal to 3 z and from here it gives you 3 y is equal to 3 z. So, this is only possible when y is equal to 0 and then z is equal to 0. Now, if I from here then only one free variable that is x. So, from here I can say that the dimension of the eigenspace that is null space of a minus 2 i is 1. So, geometric multiplicity of lambda is equal to 2 is 1. So, I will get only one eigenvector. So, I can choose that eigenvector as my x 2 and in this case my y 0 and z 0. So, I can take x as 1 0 0 and definitely this is linearly independent of 1 0 1. So, this is my another eigenvector. Now, from here now need to find the generalized eigenvector. So, in that case I can find directly. So, generalized eigenvector for lambda is equal to 2. So, in this case we will take a minus lambda i. So, that is 2 basically. So, I can take a minus 2 i some x. So, it is suppose x 2. So, I need to find x 3. So, I can write x 3 and that should be equal to x 2. So, this is the condition we need to find because in this case if you see my Jordan block will be of this form because that we can write very easily. So, if I have taken minus 1 first and then we have taken 2 and then 2. So, for minus 1 we are able to get one eigenvector and for this one we are able to get only one eigenvector. So, this will be 0 0 
0 there. So, that will be my Jordan block in this case. So, one eigenvector and one eigenvector. And from here, if you see, I will get my x3, this one, and x2 coming from here. Now, from this one, I will get a minus 2i. So, 0, 4, minus 3, 0, 3, minus 3, x, y, z, and x 2 is 1, 0, 0. So, from here, I get 4 y minus 3 z is equal to 1, and 3 y is equal to 3 z. So, that gives me y is equal to z and if I put here y is equal to z, then I will get suppose I put 3 y. So, 4 y minus 3 y is y. So, that gives me y is equal to 1 and if it y is equal to 1, then z is equal to 1. So, from here I can choose my x 3. So, this vector I can choose x 3 I can choose. So, from this one, my y should be 1, my z should be 1 and I have only one vector, uh, one free variable and that should be linearly independent of both x 1 and x 2. So, if you see x 2 is 0 0 here and x 1 is 1 0 1. So, I can take no problem, I may be I can take here. Uh, 1 third vector. So, that will be linear independent. So, from here I will get my, so now I can make the chain. So, at level 1 I will get two eigen vectors that is corresponding to lambda minus 1 and this is corresponding to lambda 2. And after that, I will get this is my level 2, and I get my x3. So, that gives my x2, and this gives my x1. So, my uh, so this is my Jordan chain. So, I have to go by this direction. So, in this case, my a x is equal to x j. So, x is, so x 1 I will take corresponding to x 1. <coughs> so, my x 1 is I am taking 1 0 1. So, it is 1 0 1. Now, after getting this value, then I will take my x 2 x 2 is 1 0 0 and third one is x 3 is I am taking this value x 3 is 1 1 1. Because it should not belongs to the null space of the this one. So, I have taken 1 1 1 and let us see this one. So, if I take Uh, it should not belongs to this. So, if I put 1, so it is 1, so never 0, it is ok. So, it is ok. So, this is my x and in this case, if you find x inverse a x and you will get the Jordan form that is minus 1, 2, 2, 1, 0, 0 and that is the answer of this one. So, this way we you should be able to verify that this is my Jordan form for the given matrix A. So, this way we are able to find all the generalized eigenvector and then we are able to write our Jordan uh, matrix. So, this matrix is the Jordan matrix and this is upper triangular and you can see that it has the eigenvalue minus 1, 2, 2. So, we can say that 
this is a similarity matrix and A and J are similar matrix having the same eigenvalue. So, this way we can write any matrix which is diagonalizable or not just diagonalizable because if the matrix is diagonalizable then J will be just the diagonal matrix otherwise it will be in the Jordan canonical form. So, any matrix we can write in the Jordan canonical form based on the given eigenvalues. So, that is the way and we stop here. So, in the lecture today we have discussed uh, uh, about that how we can write a Jordan canonical form for a given matrix and then we also discussed that how the Jordan chain are involved to write down the similarity matrix that is we have represented here with the capital X. So, this way we can write the Jordan form for any square matrix A. So, I hope that uh, you have enjoyed this lecture. Uh, thanks for watching.